Hi, in this video we talk about vocation at the University of Dayton, which is central to our vision and our mission. We define vocation as answering a call to discover one's unique gifts and employ those in the service of the public good in ways that are personally satisfying and bring meaning to one's life. In the following vignettes, a group of faculty members at the University of Dayton shared their understanding of vocation and how they help students address their personal vocation. My own story of how I came to find my vocation, I think, relies a lot on sort of happenstance um, and serendipity, both from when I was an undergraduate here at UD throughout graduate school. There were often times where opportunities presented themselves and I had a willingness to say yes, even if I wasn't quite sure what I was saying yes to. Um, and I found myself then in a position to really be able to discover maybe skills I didn't even realize I had that I could then put to use to help others and ultimately help myself. I think that as I work with students inside and outside of the classroom, one of the biggest challenges I see is helping them understand that your vocation is a piece of your life. It doesn't have to be this overlapping center of all things. And it really simply needs to be something that you can do, that you're good at, that serves the world around you. I'm lucky in that I feel like my vocation does overlap with my profession. That may not be the case for everyone though. And so as we work with students, part of helping them in their development and their discernment of their vocation is really getting them to understand that their purpose may come from multiple aspects of their life, their volunteer work, their life with their family, and their profession. And all of these things together really serve what their purpose in life is. Um, <clears throat> when I think about how my vocation and what I do contributes to the common good. Um, I really, you know, obviously if, if, if I can help people um, experience life um, more fully, I can make an impact in, in so many people's lives. Um, and as I realized in uh, my practice as a physical therapist, um, my day-to-day experiences and helping individuals move better, um, while I could impact that one person, I began to realize that um, I could impact even more if I were to do something like teach uh, physical therapists and have an opportunity to influence other physical therapists and maybe share with them or help spark a passion in them for a similar population of individuals who sometimes are forgotten or neglected especially this older adult population with severe you know, disabilities. And so um, that also led me to um, considering and, and eventually my career in education and um, teaching, teaching students in physical therapy because I realized that was one way I could truly impact a larger, you know, have a larger impact in this, in this society. Many students come to the University of Dayton for the community here and I think part of that community is sharing conversations about things like vocation and expanding their thinking about what a vocation is and what it can be and that it's beyond just what job they choose. Vocations change over time and by whom and what we're exposed to. So we take it very seriously as faculty in our classrooms. And it's not just business as a calling, business as a vocation. It's the other vocations that we might adopt. It's, do we want to be parents? Do we want to be leaders? Do we want to get married? I think in our lives, it's important to reassess that and think about that and be strategic about it sometimes, but let it come naturally or organically as well. So I think it might help to, to draw a clear distinction between profession and vocation. Profession is what you do as a job, so that's me teaching, doing research, and doing service at the university. Vocation is broader, vocation touches on your entire life and utilizes all of your gifts and interests. So profession is kind of a subset of the vocation. My profession is to teach, do research, and do service. My vocation is to try to impact 
all of the institutions I'm involved with in positive ways. That's really the way I see my vocation. So the University of Dayton has really helped me to understand and form what I believe as uh, my idea of vocation. Uh, when I arrived at the University of Dayton, one of the very first things that I saw was a sign outside of the office of the ROTC. And in that, the provost had said that he believed that being an army officer was a profession. Uh, but because he believed that, he believed that it should be housed in the College of Arts and Sciences because he thought that army officers had a need to understand the religious and the moral aspects of their life as well. And that's when I realized that uh, there was a greater mission to what I had been doing in the military. I believe that my vocation is, is to educate the students here at the University of Dayton in ways that will help them to understand what their unique perspective is, what their unique gifts and talents are, and how they can employ those talents to serve a greater good. Uh, God gives us all a, a certain gift, uh, and to find that and to be able to use that in ways that are beneficial to our society uh, is the greatest gift that we can give these students is their understanding of that. In this video, we presented the definition of vocation as provided by the University of Dayton. We also learned from the experience how members of faculty at the University of Dayton address their personal vocation and how they help students reflect on their own vocation. And so we ask you today to discover your vocation. What are your unique gifts? And how do you use them for the common good? And how do they bring personal satisfaction to you in your life?